Good morning year one, I hope you're all okay. We're starting today's maths lesson with a flashback four. The first thing you will need to do is to work out which number is shown on the dice. And then we've got four questions for you to answer next. I'm going to read through each question now and then you can pause the video to give yourself some time to answer them. The first question says the children get into teams of three. How many teams will there be? Question two says draw an array to show two add two add two equals six. And question three, the pineapple weighs how many cubes? And finally, question four, what is nine add zero? If you pause the video now, and have a go at answering the questions. I'm now going to go through the answers. Starting off up here then with the dice, we can see that we've got two dice showing the number five and one here showing the number two. We know that five add five is 10 and 10 add two is 12. Question one, the children get into teams of three. How many teams will there be? To answer this question, we need to group the children into threes. So I'm going to put a circle around three children at a time. And then we can count how many teams there are all together. So there's one, two. Question two, draw an array to show two add two add two equals six. I'm adding two together three times. So I'm going to draw three columns in my array. And there will be two counters in each column. All together, there are six. Question three. The pineapple weighs how many cubes? Having a look at the balance scales, we can see that there are two stacks of four cubes and double four is eight. And finally, question four, what is nine add zero? If we add zero to a number, we're adding nothing. So nine add zero is nine. For today's lesson, we're going to be finding a quarter of a quantity or amount. Before we do that, we're just going to do an anchor to cover what we did last lesson. So the question says, which shapes show one quarter? So remember that one quarter is one part of four equal parts. So having a look here at the circle, we can see that it is split into four equal parts, but two of the parts have been coloured in. So this circle is actually representing two quarters, not one quarter. The second circle here, again, has been split into four equal parts, but this time only one of the parts has been coloured in. So this one is showing us one quarter. The rectangle here has been split into two equal parts. One of the parts has been coloured in, so that is showing us one half. This other rectangle down here is split into four equal parts. One of the parts has been coloured in, so it is representing one quarter. Finally, we've got the triangle made up of four equal parts. One of them is coloured in, so it is showing us one quarter.
So today we are focusing on finding one quarter of an amount. And the amount we are starting with here is eight. When we're finding one quarter, it's easiest to begin by finding one half. When I'm finding one half, I'm dividing my amount into two equal groups. Then to find a quarter, I'm going to draw another line across and now I have four equal groups. So I've actually got four quarters here, but I'm only looking to find what one quarter of eight is. So to do that, I just count how many there are in one of the quarters. So I can see that one quarter of eight is two. This time we're looking to find one quarter of 12. And again, we're going to begin by finding out what one half is. I'm going to draw a line straight down the middle to make two equal groups. So I can now count one of my groups to find out what one half of 12 is. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So now I know that one half of 12 is six, I'm going to look at finding one quarter. Now it's going to be quite difficult to draw a line across here and make four equal groups. So what I'm going to do is draw lines down the columns to make four equal groups. And as you can see, each group has got the same number of bears in. So to find one quarter of 12, I just count how many bears there are in one of the groups. So there's one, two, three. So one quarter of 12 is three. For this question, I'm looking to find one quarter of 24 donuts. Once again, I'm going to begin by finding one half. So I'm dividing the 24 into two equal groups. To find the one half, I'm just going to count how many there are in one group. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One half of 24 is 12. And now to find one quarter, I need to divide the donuts into four equal groups. To find one quarter, I just count how many donuts there are in the one group. One, two, three, four, five, Six. So one quarter of 24 is six. When I'm dividing the donuts into four groups, there's actually another way that I could have done it. If you look closely, we've got four rows in our array. So I could have also done it this way. Again, I've made four equal groups and you can see that in one group there are six donuts. So I would have got exactly the same answer. So now we've been told that if this is a quarter, what is the whole? We know that a quarter of the whole is two. We've been given that information. If we have a look at this picture here, we can see that two quarters 
are the same as one half. So if I add another quarter, I have made one half of the whole. And I can show that by putting one half over the top. One half is exactly the same as two quarters. I now know that a half of the whole is one, two, three, four. To find what the whole is, I need to add another half. Okay, so two halves make a whole. I can show you that by putting a hole over the top. They're exactly the same amount. So I've found the answer of what the hole is. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I know that the hole is eight and a half of the hole which is eight, is four, and a quarter of eight is two. Okay, so for this question, question it says use counters to complete the, the sentences. A quarter of four is what? So we need to find out what a quarter of four is. To do this, we can draw ourselves four counters. And now we can split our amount, first of all into one half, and then into quarters. So I've got four equal groups. To find out what a quarter of four is, I just count how many counters I have got in one group. We can see that the answer is one. For the second one, we need to find out what a quarter of eight is. This time I'm going to draw eight counters. And then as before, I'm going to split them into two equal groups to find a half. And then I'm going to divide them into four equal groups to find one quarter. To find one quarter, we just count how many there are in one group. We can see that there are two. So a quarter of eight is two. Now there are some practice questions here for you to try and there's also the White Rose video on the White Rose website to support you and there are some silver, gold and platinum questions to try.